All right, we left off in the middle of the trial because they're so long that we can't even like. I forgot. We, yeah, we can't even take breaks at like scene transitions anymore. This 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 game. I, I just think it's funny. We instantly start up and we get like the judge's stern face right off the bat. Yeah. Like I wasn't prepared for this judge. You made me wait a week for you to come back. Ah. Yeah, we, we waited for a transition in the reveals because they were calling Edward the stand. We're like, oh, finally. Yes. Okay, that's what it was. About goddamn time. An actual thing that happens in actual court cases. <laughs> yes. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the stand. Semblance of reality. He always looks massive when he's center screen, Mr. Edgeworth. You heard what the defense has said. Yes. Well, why did you go to the lake that night? Please tell us. Please, for the love of Kiki, tell yeah. us <laughs> why. What Ryd has said was mostly correct. Astonishingly so, actually. Yes. He could imagine how ahead on this case he could be if I just fucking told him anything. <laughs> Instead of letting him piece it all together on his own. And then I'm going to tell him how much of a shitty lawyer he is. For two days. <laughs> Several days ago, I, re I received a letter. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. He said he had something very important to discuss with me. Something important? I'm sorry, I can't say what it was. Hmm. Oh, uh, who? who your honor, sir? Who the fuck is the bailiff? Well, I'm the bailiff now. <laughs> Bring out the dancing lobsters. Isn't the bailiff, like, essentially, like, the announcer? No, the bailiff is the, is the security guard. Oh, right, yeah, he takes people away. He's like to make sure people don't yeah. start shit. I was like, does he have an appearance? Bailiff, we are conducting a trial here. I ask that you remain quiet. But the witness has disappeared. He isn't at the boat shop either. What? W w what should I do? Find him quickly. We cannot allow him to get away. How did... Uh... How did he get away? Wasn't he here? Yeah. Like a second ago? They already checked the boat shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> check that already. How did, how did you check the boat shop? How close is it? They just ran there. <laughs> I have many questions. We're talking about old man, yeah? Yeah, the guy with the bird? The, the guy who's supposedly crazy. Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared. Put a leash on that bitch. A search warrant has already been issued. Hmm. It goes without saying that I cannot declare a verdict under these circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the we were final so day close. Allowed. We were so close I didn't, to a break. For all point. we knew, there was like going to be like a fucking two more hours of cross examination. And it's like right when uh, Edge Lord gets called to the stand. Like finally, yeah. like our our like reprieve told us gets cut short by this nonsense. Still, and well, you know, we would have heard everything, but got cut off by this nonsense. I don't know. He's about to be like, I cannot say. It's like I have you're, a your life's on the line, dude. I, I went on a Craigslist date, <laughs> but. It wasn't what I thought it was. I request that the police department utilize all its forces to find that witness. Am I understood? One more thing. Just who is that boat shop caretaker? I think his identity has become very important to this trial. Hmm. I want him. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to know who he is. <laughs> I want him. Very well. Court is adjourned. He wants him for his man collection. I really thought there was gonna be more. We could have. We totally could have finished this part. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Yay, Nick! You did it. Did I? What did I do? <laughs> What have I been accomplishing in this case? So what, what, do you, what do you ever actually accomplish? Yeah. You just you just get across a very clear piece of evidence at the last minute every time. Sometimes it just falls in our lap on its own, and you're like, oh, okay. And then there's Deus Ex Maya. Yep. Or Mia. 
Deus Ex I'll never Machia. Remember, I'll never remember which one's which because their names are just the worst for sisters. <laughs> Mia's the titty lawyer. Maya's the titty the, lawyer. Maya's the <laughs> She's got I in her name for titties. <laughs> <laughs> Maya's, Maya's the little sweetheart. Well, at least we got out from under that guilty verdict. And what about Larry? That was something else. All right, Larry saved us. We were so useless. We're two days in, we've got very little info. Even Von Karma didn't know what to do with this testimony. Larry really helped us out. Sure. Once I sifted through his unique testimony. Still, he did save us. I just wish our cases weren't so down to the wire all the time. I don't, yeah, you should probably hire, like, a PI. Or a better lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like it's us on trial instead of our clients. It has been. Yes. Both of you. And Edgeworth. <laughs> Everyone who works in the court except the judge so far has been on trial. <laughs> yes. So yes, actually, literally. He's next. Hey, Edgeworth. He's next. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Did you say something? Don't I, look so pained. I'm never not saying things. I talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. You could try to smile just a little. Relax. No, he doesn't know how to smile. I can only smile smugly. <laughs> Dude, are they going to give him what, like, a special animation just for smiling? Let's see it. Let's see it. No, he won't do it. I'm sorry, but I fear it's not over for me yet. What do you mean? Right. There's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. And I don't know whether or not to tell you. Edgeworth? No. There's so little time left. I want to tell you, but... To get it off my chest, but... Hmm. I can't make up my mind. What is this about, Edgeworth? It's a nightmare I've had. With the bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> again. Uh, the bunnies again. <laughs> it's always the bunnies. The bunnies, Phoenix. There's that one an sorry, there's that one anime where like You the, must save slash stop the bunnies. The bunny mutants come and they like kill a billion people and it's really gory. I was, I was watching it with your brother, but it's like they have a gigantic, anime? yeah, gigantic rabbit alien things, and they. I was just watching a gore compilation of it, and they just have these rabbits that come like rip people in two and eat them and stuff. They're really kind of cute. They have like some little smiley faces. I think it's like mm -hmm. a, yeah, whatever. If you, if you looked it up on the internet, you could find it, but it's pretty cool. So maybe Edgeworth is having a dream about that specifically, because I wouldn't blame anyone for having dreams about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, just side note there. The deep lore. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth loves to watch anime in his yeah. free time. A memory of a crime that I committed. Is it, you're having nightmares about how you did this murder? <laughs> you don't, don't tell anyone that. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. Don't tell us that, well, do you tell us that? Don't tell anyone else <laughs> that, okay? <laughs> Why is this a cliffhanger? <laughs> It's not like we're gonna wait for the next game to come out. Like, it's gonna, the game's just gonna continue now. Why is this a cliffhanger? How unnecessary. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Are we gonna cut to the next day? Mother. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> we're gonna cut to the next day, and we're gonna fucking have to proceed without this like because they've done this before basically we're probably gonna have to proceed without this information even though phoenix knows it and then he's just gonna whip it out midway through the trial and surprise us it's one of those things where you keep the audience out of the loop so they can get like a reveal thrown at them but like it's super cheap when it's the protagonist doing it because it's supposed to be the person you're following yeah, well I was, I was gonna say for the most part you're supposed to know everything that they know yeah at least in a situation like this where That's, their knowledge is so much though. crucial to your ability to play what was that? <clears throat> what was Mr. Ezworth talking about? So, so did we like just let him like end the sentence and then walk away? Wait, did we? And be like, no! okay, bye, see you tomorrow, like you that. You fucking asshole, Phoenix, assert yourself. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> a memory of a crime that I committed. A memory of murder. <laughs> 
Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth kills his father? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Watch it be true. I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he never takes somebody's life. Never. Nick. Yo, how's everyone doing? Way to ruin a moment. What do you think of my performance today? I had him swooping in the aisles, huh, Maya? Swooping? <laughs> Swooning. <laughs> swoop? <laughs> it's those swoop gangs. Swoop, there in the it lower is. Lower city. <laughs> uh, swooning? M me? Oh, oh yes. I remember feeling faint. That's so nice of you, Maya. Right on. Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Sure. <laughs> right, Nick? Nick? <laughs> <laughs> huh? M me? I, uh, well, maybe my heart <laughs> skipped a beat or two. Uh, but that's just the palpitations. I'm just high stress. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that joke. <laughs> He's got frog face back on. I think you can do better than that. Come on! I saved Edgeworth in there, dude! Edgy! Are you describing your actions? Are I you talking don't about Edgeworth? Know. <laughs> you guys should be bo bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your hero. Bow wow! He's just gonna stay like this. Don't replace your sister's things. We're not we're in mourning. Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. You did. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. <laughs> Seriously, Nick. <laughs> Keep your face. Will you wear a shirt like he has? I'm gonna show, I'm gonna find that fucking I'll square wear that shirt. shirt with that the, weird square with, with the faces on it. <laughs> yeah. That boat shop, that boat shop caretaker is pretty suspicious, but Edgy ain't no off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. Except for when I, <laughs> I'm on the am, stand. Yeah, both a witness and a uh, suspect. But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty, Edgy. That joke wouldn't make sense in Japanese. No. I mean. Can you really know? Can you can you really know that he's telling the truth about that night? That's usually the sign of a good localization team. Yeah. Like the one that the Yakuza has, where it's like, oh, they actually rewrite the game instead of just like machine translate it and be like, oh, it doesn't none of this lands. Fuck it, don't care. Nick. I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. I won't put much faith in. But, especially since he shouldn't really still be in the case, are we done with him? What is he gonna do? Us two. Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. N not me. Get shit on Maya. But, but why you, Larry? Huh? Uh, actually, yeah. Why me, Nick? Hmm. Enough with the silent treatment. Is he just gonna? She's gonna storm off. I thought she meant Edgeworth and Maya, not Nick. Nick not Butts the Butthead. Why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when he first, when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? We first met him. Well, yeah, I knew him before she's you not, did. She's not picking up on shit. You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes, Maya. <laughs> yes. In grade school. This, this is the flashback. It's gonna be the flashback. Yeah, I've flashback been waiting for this. Music. I knew it was gonna happen. Come on, they let's see They saved it. me. Miles. And Larry. They saved me, and I'll never forget it. I wanna see Baby Phoenix. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey, Larry. What's he talking about? Huh? Huh? Uh, um... Yeah, sorry, I kind of forgot. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm gonna hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay. Kind of a long story, so hang in there.
It was the very end of third grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A, a class trial? Yeah, in the class wars. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Larry? Spring, end of third grade. A kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. It's always lunch money. Objective! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like it's one of those squeaky toys. Yeah, was... dumb squeaky mallet. <laughs> Lunch money. Our that's not even it's not even related to being in any kind of like legal school yet. It's so far back that Larry was in the picture, which means it's like it's just weird. Yeah, Larry it's was weird never they, in law school. It's weird they tried to do a whole legal proceeding. Our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an emplo an envelope, an employee, <laughs> with money for lunch from home. Hmm, I see. It just looked just like the envelopes all of our yeah, the, the apparently autopsy there's only reports are in. One envelope that everybody in the world uses. Yeah, the here. same white van manila envelope with the paper folded, but not creased inside of it. <laughs> Actually, like all artfully, like a napkin. Yeah, all the all the mothers at home would fold in their kids' lunch money so yeah. like very beautifully. Yeah, it's like a paper charm. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared with thirty-eight dollars inside of it. Thirty-eight dollars. Damn. Why not even an even forty? We called whatever. it a thirty-eight special. <clears throat> Maybe they just like translated the yen into approximate American value. Yeah, perhaps. And it was like, eh, thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> That's a lot of lunch money. I don't know how like I. Oh wait, no! Didn't he say that they bring it in like periodically, like, yeah, for the week or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I never ever in my whole life bought, like bought school lunches because I was yeah. a vegetarian even when I was a little kid. I've never had. I never had school lunch. I was like a vegetarian before I was in like able to eat school lunches. Yeah. So like I always brought food from home, and then after a while, my mom was like, "Just make your own lunches," and so I just did every day. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think my mom used to pack my lunch when I was in elementary school, and then I want to say in middle school and high school, I just ate before school and after school. Yeah, when I got older, I, I, I didn't... I don't think I ate at lunch. I think I just sat there and hung out for an hour with my friends or whatever in the, during the lunch period. Well, you to a certain age where, like, the, the teachers stopped caring about, like, looking at you and being like, oh, do, do you not have food? You know, like, we used to yeah. at some point, like, in high school, like, teachers don't give like two fucks whether or not you have anything to eat yeah they're they're all sick of you yeah so it's like but when you're a kid you don't bring a lunch you look like your parents are bad <laughs> but, but when you're older it's like you start having the active decision to just do whatever you want and yeah. so when i was at that point i just would you know i just wouldn't bring lunch i probably had granola bars or some other like Snack, weird snack snacky item stuff. in my backpack yeah. somewhere i think i had like a compartment i'd put like something that didn't have to be prepared in any way i definitely had some days where i did what we talked about the uh the shitty, the, the the shitty ramen ramen eating thing, where you just like you crunch you just, ramen. Yeah, you crunch up the ramen and then you pour the sugar package, the, the I mean the flavor package directly into the bag, and then you just eat, you just hand eat dry ramen chunks. I wonder if people <laughs> like if kids still do that. I they're like the flavoring's so fucking intense when it's not, when it doesn't go through water that it's like a disaster. I only would do like half at a time, but it was all about gogurts. It's all about gogurts and like danimal yogurts, and then like the things you can get a kid to do for like uh, one of those little mini sacks of Pringles. Jeez, yeah. you can get a kid to do anything. Like that, that's like the top tier lunch kind of stuff. And uh, Lunchables, Lunchables were where it was at. Yeah, and I had changed. I had the, the, the cheese pizza one. So all I'd, the time. I'd buy an RC cola from the vending machine. Ooh, we RC had, we had cola. RC, we had RC cola wow. in the vending machine. That was the if you wanted soda flavor soda, the default category of flavor, whatever you call it. Uh, it was you had to get RC. I don't think my middle school was so country. Which is the only time I knew that existed, and I feel like I haven't seen RC since. Oh no, you used to see it at the store and stuff. What store? Like if we went to the Dollar Tree. No, <laughs> if we went to the grocery store right now. We could find it. Is it like a hidden compartment after behind all the real products? Yeah, I think, I think they do push it towards <laughs> the end. You have to say a password, on the bottom. and it opens up like the aisle lengthens, like it's the Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is where the RC lives. Co companies can bid for shelf space, so I guarantee, like Coca Cola owns like the, the most like profitable shelf space, like wherever yeah. is like eye level for most people is like where they're gonna put their shit. RC Cola is like probably bottom row, like in the back, like. <laughs> in the corner. 
in this, the depressing clearance corner where there's just like a weird bin of random products. I love that bin of random products. I'm up in there all day. It's like a garage sale happening in the, in the corner of a grocery store. I like it better when they do that with liquor. It's just a pile <laughs> of random things. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. The garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you'd forget, though. Why? Because uh, he doesn't care. That's why. I was, I was thinking traumatic, <laughs> but also he could just be an idiot. Oh, he was out of school that day. Why would you he remember that, Phoenix? Yeah, wait, what? I thought he saved you. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. When everything gets stolen, which is always PE class. That's why you, yeah, that's why you get lockers. I was coming down with a cold, so I had skipped PE that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it. Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day, we held the classroom trial with me as the defendant. Wow. Yay, I do get to see him. He's I was just, worried I wasn't going to see him. This little kid's just crying. He had spiky hair and back then. everybody interrogates him. And this teacher's like, this is fine. Dude, <laughs> this I watched... This is fine for third, for third graders. I watched so many anime where a kid gets brutally bullied and teachers always fucking look the other way. It's like it's like a thing. It's like so a thing that they're just like, mm, whatever. Like, what? you probably deserve it. And they like just go on teaching. Kids will get like their desks stolen. And like, they'll be the one kid in class who has to stand in the back. It's like a really common prank is they will take your desk away. And so everyone else is sitting down at their desk, and like you're the kid that doesn't have a desk. And these kids will be like, "Teacher, my desk isn't here." And they're like, "The frequency eh. of this media doesn't <laughs> reflect well on the on teachers in Japan." <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if that's presenting just it that way. Anyone who's, I don't know if if you if you went to school in Japan, tell me. But that's a, that's like such an anime trope that I I question the legitimacy of all of it. Yeah, I I didn't do it. Guilty. He did it. Give the money back, you such a mini! No one play with him! Thank you should admit you did it! We're not gonna play, play with you anymore! I don't love you, you at all! You should be allowed in the real You're place. ugly! Give me the 250 cents I loaned you! Baby, <laughs> baby, your mom doesn't like you! <laughs> <laughs> now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. Okay, that's this isn't what a trial is. <laughs> See, this is what the teacher would say in the anime I'm talking yeah. about. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Go over and apologize, Phoenix. What Look is at that his shirt. shirt! It's so cute. What is that shirt? I want it. Oh my goodness. It, it looks like the hypest anime of all time. Yeah. Is that I, the next I season of JoJo's? I didn't know what was happening. Uh, I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad. <laughs> I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy whose money had been stolen was sitting. That's when it happened. Ed Edgelord's gonna stand up for him. Objection! <laughs> how, do you, how did you kid that voice? <laughs> He shouldn't have to apologize. <laughs> he shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. <laughs> you, could be, you could be a punk and say amateurs. <laughs> amateurs. J. Uh, uh, Miles. Over here being Well, he's wearing a oh suit! Oh my god! That kid would've got bullied. <laughs> he's gonna get killed. <laughs> <laughs> I would it, think- I would have a crush on that kid. I love it. Oh, like and it was Edgeworth's money that got stolen. Was it? According to this sentence. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That's why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But, 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 Miles, it was your money that was stolen. That doesn't actually counteract anything he just said. Yeah, yeah! yeah. We hate him! We don't need proof! Blah, blah, blah. Make him say he's sorry! Uh, why don't you all just shut up? <laughs> Says somebody. Oh, oh it's, yeah. <laughs> so why don't you all just shut up? That definitely looks like him. Yeah. This is always how it is. Everyone's ganging up and picking up on one person. His voice never changed. <laughs> he never grew out of it. Just think how he feels. 
He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. He looks like he would give a teacher hell. Yeah. No, he's a punk ass. Little punk ass kid. Exhausting. Oh, uh, very well. I'm I'm really unprofessional and a terrible teacher. Um, I, I will replace the money myself. What? Because I'm embarrassed about how bad and mean I was. Because that's a terrible thing for a teacher to, to be. Wait, we just straight up didn't solve the problem? Uh, the, the class trial is over. Everybody look the other way. <laughs> really? The teacher uh, stole it. <laughs> it was the teacher. 38 bucks. Like, yeah. come on now. That's how it happened. I guess for, for a kid, though, 38 bucks is a lot. Yeah. After that, the three of us were the best friends. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. You forgot the time where the whole class grouped up around your friend and he cried? <laughs> As they got bullied by you know, the you entire remember, like, room? When you met your friend and became friends with him? <laughs> that's what I learned. Uh, that's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone. Without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Uh, yeah, well... I was just lucky I took that day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at my suspicious ass. <laughs> so, I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked about the class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney just like my father. A famous defense attorney. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. So they were best friends for like a month. <laughs> that was their... The star-crossed lovers moment. Aww. <laughs> the DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. That's what I thought, too. I tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. How did he get this reputation so quickly? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I guess he didn't want his friend. He, I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. What stands out to me is Phoenix and Edgeworth are supposed to be the same age. So like, ha ha how does he like already an established lawyer? <laughs> Apparently, we just suck. We got held yeah, back. Yeah, did we do a bad job at graduating law school at the ripe old age of twenty three? <laughs> yeah, like I, look, I hate them all. <laughs> look how far back we are. Ah. So far behind. Wow, 23 being I a lawyer? What, when I, I what was a 23 late start. when I graduated with <laughs> just a bachelor's degree. Let alone, like, what it takes to be a lawyer. Jesus. I couldn't just drop it. I couldn't just drop it, though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he'd become who he had become. That's what I decided. Wait, you don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth? Uh, <clears throat> um. Uh, uh, how does this timetable work? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Uh. How the. Yeah, so maybe he just started later. He was already a defense attorney, so you turned around and was like, I'm gonna become a defense attorney. So you did like, what, the years of schooling? Just the. How long has Edgeworth been a defense attorney? Hang on. Aren't they like, yeah, we haven't looked at this for a long time. I forgot this menu existed, basically. He's age 24. Yeah, like, and you're 23? I, wait, wait, how old are you? I think, are, wait, I think we're you? supposed to be the same age, because we're in the same grade. They have that lot of heart picture with her eyes too far apart again. 
<laughs> they just fucked that up a little bit. That's so funny. It's age 64. 48? Not anymore. <laughs> Aww. Wait. Wait, wait, look at- look Wait, at a... wait. Oops. Deceased is his age. Wait, so shouldn't Maya's <laughs> his mom- His age is 48. Wait, so Maya's mom should have that too, then. <laughs> Why is only one of them Oh, wait, no, 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 she disappeared. Sorry, he's, she's not dead, I guess. I thought she was dead. Look at, look at, look She's at. probably, yeah. Look at Von Karma. I want to see him. <laughs> look at his face. He's so angry. He so he started when he was 25. 40 year career. Yeah. So they're all started, young lawyers. He started later than Edgeworth. Wow. Because he started when he was 25, but Edgeworth has apparently been doing this for years, enough to have a, enough time to have a reputation, and for Phoenix to be like, I will now respond to this reputation by becoming a lawyer. Like, I don't- was Edgeworth been a lawyer since he was 16? Like, what the fuck? I don't understand this world. Cool. <laughs> like, question mark, question mark. <laughs> I like how- like, maybe they just- they want to make these characters appealing to, like, younger audiences. They don't want to make them, like, past a certain yeah, age. Yeah, so many characters in Japan are required to be, like, 14-year-olds. It's kind of alienating for me now, because I'll watch yeah. some sort of, like, no, I'll watch some fucking shoujo anime, and they're all, like, 17. I'm like, well, now I yeah. feel like a creep, so thanks. No, I, it, it, for me, it's it's distracting and, like, immersion-breaking at times, where it's just, like, I'll be, I was watch. I got caught up on Attack on Titan, and, like, it's just getting grimmer, and it feels like I've been watching a show that's been going on for years in it, in universe or something, and all these people have been through so much shit, and they all look like adults. And, the, like, every, all those characters look like adults, all the scouts and people. And then they'll be, and then, like, in one of the final episodes that's currently in the anime, they refer to the protagonist as being 15, and I'm like, OBJECTION! Keith, <laughs> dude, Keith, like, Jotaro Kujo, Jotaro Kujo, that buff-ass man, is, like, in high school. Who's Jotaro Kujo? From JoJo's. Oh, that's jo oh, oh yeah, Jotaro. He's he's like fucking. I know, he's I, like Maya's I've age. I've heard his last name before. Maya looks like a seventeen year old. The one that looks like a massive like all of gay biker man. All of like every character in that. The, all the giant buff people are all yeah. like high school students. Yeah, that's the a, that's funniest a, that's... thing in the world. It makes me laugh every time I think about it. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's like really. Or if you watch like Bleach or something, like they're all in high school too. Yeah. Like, all these characters that's... are always like little kids. Uh, the characters in Bleach are kind of believable. Kinda. Just because like. They're, they're, a lot of them are, like, petty, and, like, a lot of them are, like, obsessed about, like, their own, like, status or how people perceive them, and, like, they're insecure, like, high schoolers, and they also, like, dress like high schoolers. Like, they're all trying to, like, pull off some kind of style or thing. Like, I think of, like, I'm the dark brooding guy with the hair over my face and the Ooh, colorful edgy. tank top. Like, that one, like, <laughs> their, their tank, I don't remember his name. <laughs> they, had, they had a tank and a DPS and a healer. <laughs> and like each, like Ichigo's definitely a high school kid, and like, like their characters feel like See, high schoolers kind of. But like, when you're watching the war crimes show about war crimes, and it feels like the show must have been going on forever, and also everyone's like, bit like maybe even died and come back multiple times. Like so much shit's been going on in this in the show, and then you're like, also they're all like 14. I'm like, excuse me. You don't draw them like they're 14, and they don't act like they're 14, and how the fuck did they train to do this when they're- I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I, I, I can't- Like, where I, are I their parents? Why are they- Why are, why why are, are their they, parents not watching them? Why isn't this whole cast at least- I mean, you know where their parents are. The first episode establishes where- where his parents are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the point. But the, well, but, I mean, a lot of these shows, it's the, like, uh, it's like, why are I'm your like, parents letting you fight demons I just look at whatever. the art style, and everything happening in the show, I'm like, how are these people not 25, at least? Like, how are they not at least in their 20s? And it makes me feel like I'm so behind. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get, I need to become <laughs> a, a, an amazing, powerful being, because apparently all these people are way ahead of me. Yeah. But I always find that stuff weird. I can, I'm saying, I'm being vague because I can't remember a single character's name in uh, Attack on Titan. Um, I just, I just uh, finished watching it. I, I, I can't I, remember a single person. I didn't watch. I watched the first season when it came out, and I forgot. But I, oh, Aaron Yeager was my favorite. Aaron. I loved him because he yelled all the time. That's his name. Yeah, Aaron's at the. And then uh, even after a time Kisa? jump happens. Was it Kisa? Since, uh, oh, Mikasa. Mikasa. Okay, Mi Mikasa. Yeah. But no, even after a time jump and shit like that in season three. They're, they're still like, Aaron's 15. I'm like, no, it's unacceptable. <laughs> I don't accept I don't accept this lore. If you think about <laughs> that, lying. that as a 15-year-old, he's seen a lot of shit. 
Yeah, but it's because the, the writing's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why he's 15. It's because the writing is really dumb about that part in particular. That's why I'm actually kind of really relieved now when I when I see anime that are about older people. Like yeah. like there's that one that's like Love is Hard for an Otaku, and they're all like business people, and they're like they're like I want to say they're like late 20s, early 30s. And it's like, well, I relate to this because they're actually grown-ups. Like, I don't know, there's something kind of special about that for me now. Because <laughs> that's very rare. Yeah, or like when we're watching Paranoia Agent, there's all these adult characters, and then like they show the kids, and they actually feel like kids in, 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 compared to the, all the adults, because they're actually acting and looking like kids. Because that's what kids are supposed to be. And they're not just actually kids that are actually like thousands year they're old not, vampires. They don't, they, yeah, they're not. They don't have Yu-Gi-Oh syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> or just like dude, morphs into fucking Pharaoh mode, and, he, and you're supposed to like believe this person's like twelve or whatever the fuck is happening in the story. You're like, um, he's got more eyeliner. He's got enough eyeliner to kill someone. <laughs> Long story short, anime can be dangerous, and sometimes you can <laughs> fall into a, a trap <laughs> where you lose you lose all perspective of reality, and you're like, "Oh no, I'm not supposed to like this, <laughs> but I do." Oops, <laughs> I didn't realize the context. Uh oh, I got trapped. I'm a bad person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me, whether he wanted to or not. Whoa. In court. What if you guys just never cross paths? You didn't think about that? Yeah. What if he just moved away? <laughs> Again. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Whoa, Nick! So, is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nick! 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 We have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right, so here's how we're gonna break him out of jail. I feel it, like if- It if may I'm, very well be. If I met someone whose name was actually Nick, I would just like, have a flashback every Nick? time I said their name. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, oh, I remember- I'm Maya now. Yeah. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. Yeah, how are you going to react when we, when we encounter Stephanie? Ew! <laughs> Gosh, Stephanies are terrible. <laughs> Just kidding, you're great. <laughs> you're great? I'm great. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, thanks. Wow. You're welcome, Stephanie. Self five, Stephanie. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out who or what he is. A goblin? <laughs> I'd settle for who? Guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. Hopefully he doesn't make us decide because I don't. I have no clue what we need. Yeah, you never know what you might need. It's not like it expires. Just get another box or whatever the fuck. Like you can carry two boxes to the court. The way I've seen some of this stuff come up in court, it's like so. Yeah. The, the thought process is so like avant garde court, that it's case, like you might as well just carry everything. Yeah, you're supposed you've to keep evidence into. for old cases in case they get yeah, reopened or he's something. Just like throwing it in the dumpster. He's like, we don't need this. This case literally isn't even over yet. And he's like, eh. Yeet! <laughs> it's taking up too much space in my drawer. Whatever. Yeah. You're out of safe slots. <laughs> Guess they go free. Okay, let's go. I present to you, Bird. Woohoo! It was hot out there. Hot! Glad someone's happy about how this case is going. He just likes the free publicity. He seems too happy to care about anything I show him. Show him like a picture of a dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Larry. I guess I don't need this evidence anymore. Anyway, here's the metal detector. <laughs> I might, might even throw out the parrot. This is the thing that's actually not a, an evidence. Well, yeah, but you have to give that back to your friend. Yeah, but, but why? there's no reason for it to be in my evidence folder. No. Nah. I like how the parrot's in there. Yeah. So yeah, they, they totally gave us three different items. I thought there'd be like a branching story where every one of those things finds what you're looking for for different reasons, and it's like a fun branching story, but it's actually just, I think it's just two wrong answers. And then and you, eventually, answer. then you actually pick the metal detector. Because the dog, all the dog did was harass butts. What did we, f we found the, we got the dog, the metal detector, and then what else? We like didn't Fishing use the other rod. thing. Fishing rod, yeah. Yeah. 